Oh, uh, yate. Um, should the uh, Just checking in. We just walked down. Um, We're okay. Everyone who was with us was okay that we know of. We were with the group Rock Your Box and our MMDR sister families at the Gallup Ceremonial Parade. We we're passing out hair ties and just thanking the families for coming out. And it was a beautiful night. And right when we came out of that curve, we just heard everyone move, get out of the, get out of the way. And someone pushed us out of danger. And right when they did that, that vehicle passed by us, and that man had. No compassion in his heart. Sped up right where the curve happened. And there were so many families. So many families. <sighs> we're okay, but to see families left their blankets, they left their shoes, they left their umbrellas. <sighs> and we're just all trying to keep each other safe. No community members really stepped up and I want to thank everyone who helped protect the, the parade goers, everyone who was in the parade, and the families. We just went into safety mode, try to make sure everyone was safe because we had just said hello to them, we just greeted them, and we know that they were in danger. We're getting bits and pieces of the story. We've talked to people who've seen that driver take off. I don't know what was in their mind, I don't know what they were thinking, why they would plow down the road, and why they would endanger all thousands of people are here. And when they hit that curve, I'm, I just hope everyone's okay. So check on your family. We're okay. I'm here with Delegate Nate Brown. Our team is okay. I know one of our MMDR sisters was so mad. She tried to stop him and she's okay. And everybody's asking how we're doing and, and we're just doing the best we can. I'm doing okay, Shash. I'm okay, Yash. Okay. I'm okay, well. I'm okay. That man there. I tried to see that guy. We saw him. Yeah. He, he wouldn't stop. He I wouldn't. Him. I want to see him. We're all mad. Yeah. We're all mad. I, I know that you're mad. I saw him. Yeah. I was going to take him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're safe. I'll go to prison if I kill him. Well, I hope, I think the police got him and I think the police took care of him. And we just got to make sure the families are safe. All the children who are crying, we're just telling them, you're safe, you're okay. I came back from Vietnam and everything, I saw him, I was going to kill him. Mm -hmm. It's okay, Walt. Well, you did the best you can. We got him. At least you're safe. You should be Oh, I appreciate it, Yash. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Sorry, people, we're, we're just here trying to make sure we're kind of triaging folks. If there's any public health workers, this is the time to maybe reach out online and just make sure everybody's okay. A lot of trauma has happened. Um, we're doing a lot of deep breaths with community members who are hyperventilating, um, children who are crying, just kind of giving them that relaxed energy. It wasn't until right now when I started talking to y'all that I just kind of processed everything through my mind and it was till my daughter started calling me and heard about the incident so um i 
I'm hoping and I and I don't have any answers and I'm not going to speculate but what I saw was an inhumane act of an individual using their vehicle as a deadly weapon and taking into no account of the families that were out there and we're going to have to review this we're going to have to see what we can do better what can be implemented at all of our parades so people feel safe coming out and and for all of the families that were out there i mean there's just so many we're just hoping reach out um if if this really triggered you there's online resources you could text 988 if this is bringing some flashbacks like you just heard from that vietnam veteran he felt like he was activated to do something and so they're going to have to just um, calm themselves down and for the family members. And there were some people who didn't witness. And I think that's a that's a blessing. And let's not speculate because this was very traumatic. Let's not make up rumors or this is what you heard. Let's just try to stick to the truth because there's family members here and their families are worried about them. and. Um, we just want to make sure everyone is okay and um, I just want to check in and you're part of my healing regulating I'm breathing in three breathe it out three I'm reminding myself I'm okay I'm reminding myself we did the best we could I'm reminding myself that everyone that I saw was okay but mentally we're gonna need to come together and, and have some healing. And um, and I'm glad you're okay. And we just have to go to prayer. And so we're gonna do that tonight. We're gonna offer our prayers and our offerings for protection for our people. We're okay, thank you. Everyone's asking, are you okay? Checking in on us, we appreciate that. It's really the community responding and just making sure we're, we're doing okay. But we, we are at the tail end, and so there are some families that have been separated. And so we're actually waiting for some of our family members to come back and join us because we do not want to leave without them. Um, they helped escort um, uh, a young woman to find her elderly mom. You're welcome. You're welcome to find their mom and so we just we're just all keeping track but staying out of the first responders way staying out of the street and um and, and making sure that we're we're safe and of course being observant and um so if you're in the gallup area uh just let's stay away from this area so our first responders can do their job and the investigation and we learn collectively how we need to maybe for future parades, you know, the safety, the protocol, um, escape, uh, areas of escape, and, um, you know, with the amount of people, and maybe the parade route can be elongated so you don't have rows of people so that there's an easy escape route, you know, we to think about. Uh, those are just things coming to my mind. I will be talking to more of our first responders and others who provide emergency service so that we're safe. And um, we feel that we could come out. So, ahiahat, um, shedanea. I'm, I'm here in front of Glenn's Bakery. We walked down. Um, we, we walked the parade. Uh, we were and observed, you know, this, this, um, I don't know what the intent was, but this person who was using their vehicle to cause harm and had no consciousness of of the lives that he would impact so um be safe out there and as we travel home it's getting dark uh, the rain should be coming in so take care of yourself take extra precaution and always just tell each other you love each other tell each other to take care of one another and then just do the best we can so yeah we'll talk soon